So in today's tutorial, we're going to use Cinema 4D to create an automatic bar equalizer animation. Uh, it's a very common kind of equalizer effect. And we're going to link this to a soundtrack so all these uh, separate bars animate automatically. And then I'm going to create an effector to add some secondary animation which you can use to kind of, um, kind of make certain areas peak or a uh, dip. So I'm just going to create a new scene in Cinema 4D and I'm going to create just a simple cube and I'm just going to change the dimensions here so X22, Z22, Y200 I'm just going to keep it simple I'm going to make this uh, cube editable so click this button here what I need to do now is move the anchor point so I'm just going to move this down and I'm going to go into my uh, side view here and I'm going to enable snapping what I want is actually the edge snap so that snaps right to the edge so we get a perfect snap I'm just going to check it from above yep it's in the center so I'm just going to click here to come out of uh, the anchor point mode and I'm just going to uh, disable snapping so I've got this one uh, bar I'm going to call it and if I scale the Y, it's kind of scaling from the base. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a cloner. And I'm going to add this bar to the cloner. And it's kind of cloning them upwards along Y. So I'm just going to set this here to zero and I'm going to clone them along X. So let me just have a look. So I'm just going to keep a bit of spacing in between them and I'm going to increase the count say about 24 of them, make it quite big. So imagine this is our uh, equalizer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sound effector. So here we go, sound. And I'm going to choose a sound file for the sound effector that's under uh, the effector tab I'm just gonna choose some dubstep my favorite and I'm just gonna have a play and it's already as you can see the music's already reacting I'm just gonna turn down my speaker slightly so one thing you'll notice uh, for straight away is like these are all animating at the same speed and we don't want that we we kind of want some variation we want each bar kind of animating slightly differently so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to MoGraph and I'm gonna add a random effector I'm gonna put this before the sound effector and if you click on cloner uh, and click on the effectors tab we can see the order here I want random to come first and then the sound effector to be applied and the order you do things, place things, is important because it executes generally top to bottom and uh, right to left if you've got any tags. So what I'm going to do is on Cloner I'm going to go to uh, Transform and I'm going to go Display Weight so I can see the weight of each bar and as you can see they're all red which means the weighting is equal for all the bars. Now I'm going to go to Random and I'm going to uncheck, uncheck a position and I'm going to put weight transform to 100% so this random effector isn't isn't doing anything to the position scale or rotation all we're doing is we're kind of giving each bar a random weight so if I play this now well they kind of look random but they're all moving at the same moving at the same time we don't want that so Go to random again, and uh, where is it? Effector, and where it says random mode, instead of random, choose turbulence. And now, it's hard to see, but we've actually got a different uh, animation for each bar. Now what I did wrong is here, uh, in the sound effector and parameter, is uh, moving it along the Y position. So I actually want scale. I'm just going to go to scale and I'm just going to push the Y scale all the way up. 
And as you can see, now we're doing scale, so the base is nice and flat on the ground. That's maybe a bit extreme. So there we go, that's the kind of bar equalizer part out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to extend my animation because I want to watch this uh, react to the music when it kicks in. Now we now it starts to get interesting. So pretty cool music, I think you'll agree. And yeah, so it's doing what we want. This is cool. But what we might want to do is we might want to add a little bit of our uh, our own animation as well. So I'm going to go to Cloner, and I'm just going to add another plane effector. And I'm just going to check the order. Random sound plane. Yep, plane should be last. And I'm just going to use this as like a kind of influencer, like a secondary kind of control. So I'm just going to uncheck position. Scale, again, I'm going to scale up Y. And fall off, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to try linear to start off with. I need to rotate this 90 degrees so it basically it's red yellow yellow like that now I can basically I'm just gonna play with the settings fall off a hundred percent just bump that parameter up a bit as well so as I play this I can actually add some of my own animation as well that's a bit extreme, so I'm actually going to change fall off maybe sphere, so it's kind of more of a bump. And um, size, let's increase the size. I'm just going to increase scale here. Fall off 100. And uh, maybe I don't want it so strong. I'm just going to make it invisible in the viewport. So now I've basically got the secondary control that I can animate to kind of bring out certain peaks. As you can see. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. I hope... Um, that, that's a kind of useful effect for you and um, I'll leave the kind of texturing and materials to you that's just like the basic system setup and uh, yeah thanks for watching